Preparing to sacrifice her in revenge for the mysterious death of their king, Muriel Armitage is imprisoned in a hut. While in the jungle outside the native village, her brother Tom is waiting with some Arab horsemen in the desperate hope of rescuing her. Bob Grant, a young American, has tried to rescue Muriel, but he's himself a prisoner. Grant's failure is due to the crafty scheming of his enemy, Harris who is watching his chance to get hold of a letter which the savages are going to burn because they believe it is a magic paper. The letter is worth a fortune to Harris, but is even more precious to Grant because it is the only evidence that can clear him of a murder charge. Meanwhile, in a town not far away, Olaf Peterson has been arrested on a charge of having killed a police officer while trying to get hold of the letter. Men want to let me out of this jail? Maybe they find out I didn't do it, huh? Don't make me laugh. They're just going to book you for another murder. What? They didn't kill nobody. Save your breath and tell us to Wainwright. Wainwright? He been dead. Murdered. Sure, you're the one that murdered him. Hey, man. They wouldn't kill a yes, Robert. Why, you'll believe it. They Is this the man you saw robbing the safe in your office the night you were shot? Yes, he's the man. Sir. Do you recognize him as the man who shot you? No. The shot was fired from the window by a man in black glasses. Man in black glasses? Yes, your confederate. No, I don't been have nothing to do with that fella. I don't even know who he is. What were you doing at Wainwright's safe? But I wasn't... Don't try to lie out of it. We've checked up your fingerprints with those on the safe. I'd advise you to make a clean breast of it, Peterson. All right, let's go talk. This scout lead guilty to the charge of burglary. What did you take out of the safe? A piece of paper. The Rajah's letter? Yeah, the letter the Rajah of Rampur wrote when he was dying, telling his brother to come quick and take the throne so his cousin Prince Thakur couldn't stir up any political trouble. What did you want with the letter? Prince Dakar hired me to get the letter so he could destroy it. That's the reason I've been in Lobenga to see Harris. You mean Harris had the letter? Yeah, he been tried to bring out the secret writing on the back of the letter so he could blackmail Prince Dakar. That fits in with other information about Mr. Harris. Yes. The Arab Mustafa assured me that the squad I sent to arrest Harris would find the letter on him. Where's Harris? The native man of his set the lions on us. We had to run for our lives, and Harris escaped. Escaped? Harris and his ape man took to the jungle. The guards are now following him, and we came back for reinforcements. He's headed for the black camp. It was not the Bailey's been friends of his. He must not escape. Get what men you need. I'm going with you. If you've been telling me the truth, Peterson, I can promise you a short sentence. I tell you the cold truth. All I want is to get square with this fellow house. Well, Grant, how's your finish? Once that letter goes up into smoke, you'll never be able to prove that you didn't kill the Raja. They'll hang you when they get you. I may never get the letter, Harris. But that won't stop me. You over to the police site. You'll never live to see the police. These natives will finish you off as soon as they're through with the Armitage girl.
Publio. I know you do not trust me, but I bring you word from one who need your help. What word? From who, Mustafa? Miss Armitage's brother is outside with my men. We plan to rescue her. What's your plan? To rush the hut where she's tied up? She is no longer tied up in the hut. The old lady of whom you know managed to get her out disguised as a witch doctor. Your brother was waiting for you. Come. Did you know where to find me? Why, I was in the cave when the natives took you away. You were? Well, why didn't you answer me when I called? Just as I saw you coming, the man in the black glasses hit me from behind. When I came to, 
It's the natives who are taking you away. The man in the black glasses? Yes. And you'd never guess who he is. What? Why, he's... Oh. <laughs> oh. Miss Gray, how you frightened. I saw you shoot Tom Armitage. Fight. This very idea. You must be crazy. Don't you know I'm a secret service operator? I don't care who you are. I saw you shoot him. Get going. Is he hurt badly? No, just a flesh wound, but he's still unconscious. Well, I've got the criminal that shot him. Why, she told me she was a secret service agent. That's what I've been trying to tell this fool. But he won't believe me. Well, if you are, you can easily prove it. Why did you shoot him? So that's why you're always looking for my brother. So you could shoot him. The natives thought Miss Armitage here had killed their king. That's the second murder I've heard Miss Armitage accused of. I only hope she's as innocent of Mrs. LaSalle's death as I know she is of the king's murder. Your brother shot? Who did it? This old lady here, Mrs. Colby. She claims she's one of your Secret Service agents. One of my agents? I never saw the woman in my life. Then those credentials she carries must be false. You'll find them in that bag. These credentials are genuine enough, and they solve the mystery of the death of Mrs. LaSalle. At the time of her murder, she was investigating a mysterious output of diamonds that was flooding the market. Is that why you killed her? To prevent her discovering the source of this output? I'm not telling you anything. But I can tell you everything. I'm all right now. Help me up. It was the black glasses. And the mysterious man who shot at you, Miss Armitage, from my camp. And the mysterious man who shot Wainwright in his office. How did you learn of his disguise, my boy? Well, it was the night Wainwright was shot. I was pretty mad at him for having arrested Muriel. And I was on my way to his office to have it out with him when I discovered this man crouching outside the window with a gun in his hand. Before I could interfere, he fired and ducked away. I followed him to a room in the Continental Hotel, which I later learned was supposed to be occupied by Mrs. Colby. Oh. I watched for my opportunity to get into the room, captured this man, took him to a volcano crater where I had discovered the diamonds and the blue clay. The diamonds are at the bottom of this whole business. This man had discovered the mine and was working it secretly, knowing that if he should report it, the when I stumbled on it by accident, he followed me to town and fired at me from the balcony outside Harris's room to keep me from telling the secret to Mrs. LaSalle. I had no idea that Mrs. LaSalle was anything more than a pretty woman over whom I lost my head. Quite right, Chris. We know all about that. Uh, don't go, Mustafa. Oh, yeah. I only go to tell my men. Never mind your men. We've taken care of them already. Why, you have nothing against me? Oh, yes, we have, Mustafa. If you have nothing else to hold him on, I can be a witness that it was he who killed the native king. How do you know? Just while I was a prisoner in his camp. 
They thought I was out of my head. Are you not afraid that his sister and her friends have followed you from the black camp? By this time, they have all been slain in vengeance for the Black King's death. They killed the king? No, but I make the blacks think they did. These little poison darts leave no mark. It was easy to make the blacks believe that the king died from the white girl's magic. Search him. Take the prisoners away. Take this man, too. Leave a couple of the horses for Miss Armitage and her brother. Well, Inspector, I guess you'll have to send me back to Rampur. Have you got hold of the Rajah's letter again? No. I'll never be able to prove my innocence now that the letter is gone forever. What do you mean? The blacks thought it was a magic document and burned it. The Rajah's letter. Why, where did you get it? I was behind the altar and managed to steal it without being seen. Don't try to follow any of you. We saw him fall. Did you see how it happened? Yes. It was Bimmy that frightened the horse. Congratulations, Grant. That paper will not only clear you, but it will win the thanks of many people for removing the menace of Prince Dekar. Look! That ape man's coming down the hill. <laughs> 